There's money here. If you don't laugh, try, please. I, this is not a funny story. So take your funny bones out and leave them there. I actually found my lust for life last night. No, don't laugh. It's serious. No, I, I, I really did. I had two other stories I was going to tell, and they were funny. But this was, I figured, since you're rated number one, I'm going to make you number two and make it a very serious story. But the truth is, when I heard Lust for Life, I realized I lost mine. I really love to do wild things. I've lived in seven cities. I've explored every city. I've, li I've been to every city in the country. And then suddenly I became boring and old. Has anyone felt boring and old here? OK, so I don't feel as bad. But boring and old stinks. And when I thought about it, first I was sad. Then I got pissed off. So I decided to do something about that. And there's a dance. Um, it's called La Continent, well, Grand Continental. And it's a dance group that started in Montreal. It's now in Philly. No one's invited unless I do well. <laughs> but it takes place in um, September. There's two months of practice. So I tried out for the part. My glasses fell off. I fell down. I was going left. Everyone else was going right. And I figured, that's the end of that. But sure enough, they selected me. And I figured, wow, I have more talent than I thought until I got there last night. There's 100 people in two different groups. I walk in, the woman says, hi, Mark. I'm thinking, how the heck do you know me? Then I looked around, and I'm a little different. And I realized I'm very different from this group. So being a 40, 45, and a little more young heterosexual guy, I was kind of the lone stranger there. And so the adventure began. And it was an amazing night. Because what I learned was how uncoordinated, uncoordinated I had become. And the music started. And they go through. It's a real choreographed thing. There's like 50 or 60 moves. I'm stuck on the first one. Did my mic go off? <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Thank you. More. <laughs> OK. I lost in thought. So there I was, going left, going right. But everyone, so the, the music begins, and they're going, the guy is going fast. You have to be able to keep up and know 15 moves in 15 seconds. And three quarters of the group got it. And I realized every time I went left, people were looking at me. Every time I went right, I lifted my arm. They're dropping their arm. It was a long 30 minutes. And then something interesting happened. I related. I used to play a lot of sports. And the choreography suddenly became a sport. I learned he did one thing. And I said, oh, I used to pitch. And I figured that out. Then there was a golf swing. Then there was a, a, something in basketball. I started picking up the moves, or so I thought. So I started getting cocky, and I'm going fast. <laughs> and a couple of times, I'm going so fast, everyone else stops. And then I realized I'm ahead, of my, I'm ahead of everyone, so I better slow down. As the night progressed, how much time do I have left? Shh. Man, time goes by. Um, but the amazing thing that happened about one hour in, and I'm drenched, and I smell horrible, and I don't look good, something hit me. And this is my lust for life moment. You waiting? Good. I realized I had gotten hurt in basketball five years ago. And I haven't had a good workout in five years. And suddenly, my mic goes out again? No. Suddenly, I hit. My brain clicks. And I became a pitcher again. And I'm watching, and I'm in a groove. My mind's in a groove. And I'm starting to feel it. What happened to this mic? I'm too electric. Um, but I got into this groove. And it went on for two hours. And I worked my butt off and sweated and felt great. 
and I realized that's what was missing from my life was this mind-body connection. When you stop playing basketball and you stop playing tennis and stop playing football, I just did jogs and my, my mind goes to la-la land. How much time? Okay, I'm going to talk really fast because I'm from New York. Anyway, the evening ended on a high note. We have eight weeks left. On the way home, I was higher than 15 beers or 16 beers. Um, a friend of mine called and said, how you doing? I said, I'm awesome. I'm like, friggin' awesome. He goes, so what's Awesome's name? <laughs> and I said, Awesome has 95 names. And I went on to, to explain that uh, my evening was just feeling awesome again and really, really feeling like I'm now back in the groove. I told you this wasn't funny. I'm back in the groove because I figured out what was missing. So if anyone is out of the groove, I invite you to this dance. They need a few more people. I would be worse than you, I promise. But in eight weeks, I'll be better. But I invite all of you, I thank you for this chance to kind of, again, not make you laugh, just kind of bring some insight into life. Do I have time? Now? And there's more. <laughs>